I am so excited because today I am partnering with Sugoi Mart to unbox this lucky bag. It is a Sailor Moon lucky bag and I am super stoked to see what's in here. I have not looked in the bag yet, so this is going to be fun for both you and for me. <laughs> so to give you a little bit of information about Sugoi Mart, they created this Sailor Moon lucky bag after a bunch of people reached out to them and asked for it. The site does not specifically say how many items that you could get in the bag, but it does cost $40. Now with that said, I have a coupon code. So if you want to go shopping on Sugoi Mart. I have a coupon code for 15% off anything in the store. You can use the code SailorSnubs15 like it's spelled on the screen right here. Hit the link down below to go directly to the store and check out everything that they have. They sell a whole variety of items and not just Sailor Moon items. They also have a ton of candy and snacks, food. They have drinks, beauty, lots of other anime. They have video game merchandise. So if you're looking for Legend of Zelda merchandise from Japan, they have that too. But today we are looking at the Sailor Moon Lucky Bag. Now the site says that a few lucky winners will find a special bonus prize in the bag that could include the Crystal Star Proplica, a Sailor Moon makeup brush set, a Sailor Moon lint roller, and other extra large Sailor Moon prizes. Fuku Bukuros or Lucky Bags are often given out during New Year's celebrations at stores all around Japan. This is a very, very widely popular tradition where stores will create these lucky bags and give them out for an extremely good price. Uh, I know that the Sailor Moon store has done Fukubukuros in the past. However, I don't think they did one this year, or at least I didn't purchase it. I have unboxed other lucky bags from other brands and they weren't that great. So hopefully this one is good. I'm really excited to check it out and see if it's worth the money. Cause that's a big thing. If you're paying 40 bucks for it, you should get $40 worth of value in here. And hopefully it's all licensed products. So let's go ahead and check it out. Should I even look in the bag or should I just start grabbing things? I feel something plush. Feels like an Otedama. It is. <laughs> It's Luna. So here is the Luna Otedama. My my actual cat Luna is looking at me like I'm talking to her. Hi Luna. She's adorable. She's a little black cat. So here is our Otedama. These are available at the Sailor Moon store currently. And I believe the cost on these is around like 700 or 750 yen. I think they recently went up in price to like 880 yen. I think that's what they cost on the Sailor Moon store. I'll check and put the price right down below, but that is the first item that we have in our lucky bag. What's next, what's next? Oh, awesome. I recently unboxed one of these in one of my Japan hauls, but it was a different one. So I actually don't have this one. This is a 30th anniversary Sailor Moon keychain charm. This was also available at the Sailor Moon store and the retail value for this is 1650 yen. So we're already at like 2,500 yen for these two products. Uh, keep in mind, the exchange rate is a little bit different. So we will calculate that at the end. Oh, no way. Oh, that's so cool. That's so cool. I got a manga in here. This is a Japanese manga. So this is one of the, I believe this is one of the short stories of the manga. This was uh, one of the reprints. So this is not the one from the 1990s, but this is a reprint. This one was... How much do you cost? 490 yen. So we're at like 2,900 yen right now. What else do we have in here? Ooh. Oh, I know what this is. These came out pretty recently. Uh, I have the Sailor Pluto one. I do not have this one, so I'm super excited about that. I found mine at Kitty Land, my Sailor Pluto one. They also have these at the Sailor Moon store. However, I found Kitty Land had better inventory than the Sailor Moon store did, in case you're in Tokyo. This is a washcloth. Now, if you go to Japan, I highly recommend getting yourself just a, a nice little hand cloth, a nice little washcloth, because oftentimes the public restrooms in Japan will not have any place to dry your hands. They currently have the blow dryers turned off due to the due to COVID, you know? And oftentimes they don't come with any kind of paper towels. So you are kind of left to your own devices and hopefully you have a hand towel. So carry these with you when you're walking around Japan. That's the reason why you often find these available in Japan as well. Now this, what was the price on this one? I don't remember how much I paid for mine when I went to Japan. So I will look up the price on this one and put that down below. What do we have next? We got some small items in here. Well, there's a bunch of small little things in here. One, two, three, four, 
more small things. Is that all the small things we have in here? I'm gonna look at all the little things, the little trinkets. Some masking tape, that's fun. I like the masking tape and it has the outer guardians on it. Yes, those are my people. These are pretty popular in Japan as well by Sunstar Stationery. Oh, look at that. This is from the Hello Kitty Sailor Moon collaboration. It's a very cute little notepad featuring Venus and Pom Pom Purdin. Very, very cute. Oh, I love these. These notepads are so useful too. That's cute. Oh, I recently got some of these charms. The only ones that I have though are the silver crystal and the golden crystal. So I don't have any of the other ones. Let's open this and see which ones came in the box. These were blind bagged. Um, these came out right around December when I was in Japan. Oh, that's funny. I got another one. I got the golden crystal. <laughs> this, so this is King Endymion or Prince Endymion's golden crystal. If you've seen Sailor Moon Eternal, you're probably already familiar with this, but there you go. I have another one. That's so fun. Ooh, these look like Gashapons. They are. So we have a couple of gashapons in here. These are kind of hard to open sometimes. There we go. Uh, oh, this is the hug cot. Wow, she is tiny. So I got a little teeny tiny Diana hug cot. She has a little space on her feet so that I can put this on a cable. I can actually like have her hug a cable. It's really cute. So we got a hug cot. I believe these were like 200 yen at the Sailor Moon store. Did I break a nail? No, I didn't. Okay, we're good. What is this? Oh, okay, this is a different gashapon. Let's see, 20th anniversary Bandai. I don't think I have any of these, so I don't even know what this is. It's a little compact. Oh, that's cute. So this is another little compact. It's a gashapon. It does have a mirror on the inside. I'll look up the price on this one, but it's probably like the retail is probably around 200 yen as well. We got some adorable stuff in here. We got a little postcard from Sugoi Mart and a sticker. Oh, that's a nice sticker. It's a nice vinyl sticker too. Little bonus items. Okay, so there's one, two, how many is that? Three? There's like three or four items still in here. That's a lot of stuff. This is another gacha palm, even though it doesn't look like one. But this features mini clear files. They are 200 yen each out of the m machine. And oh, I got Chibi Moon. Oh, that's pretty. It has Pegasus on the back. I had no idea. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, these are cute. I had no idea that these even came out. What a pretty clear file. Now I want all of them. I want to collect all the clear files. Ooh, look, there's princess ones of all the outer guardians. And then we have Sailor Moon. Oh, these are pretty. That's very pretty. There's, what is this? Oh, a sticker sheet. This came out when I was in Japan around the December timeframe. This is a really, really nice sticker sheet. And interestingly enough, these sold out so fast at the Sailor Moon store. Like it was it's hard to find these. I'm glad that I picked up the ones that I did when I did because I went back to the Sailor Moon store a few days later in Harajuku and they were wiped clean. Like everybody had bought them. So it's cool to have some extras of these because they were so hard to get. Uh, these are 495 yen. All right, we're not doing bad so far. I think we're gonna hit 40 bucks. <gasps> are these bath salts? What? No, shut up. That's cool, man. See, I thought I couldn't even get these shipped to America. I haven't even tried because I figured like they might look at them and think these are drugs and then throw them away. But apparently you can ship these to the US. So that's nice. I'm totally gonna use these. So these are bath salts. Ooh, that smells good. It smells very good. Really nice and floral. Nice rose. Yeah, rose bath salt. Those smell very, very good. Yeah, check that out on camera. Look how beautiful that is. That's really pretty. I might use these tonight. I've been recording videos all day. I might use these tonight. That's very nice. That is some quality stuff right there. And the last item in here is, is this the A one? Oh, yes, yes, yes. I don't have this one yet. Oh, that's great. Thank you, Sugoi Mart. How'd you know? That's so cool. I got a Q-Pos kit and it's one I don't have yet. That's really exciting. This is the A version of Makoto Kino in her school uniform. She looks so cute. They have been coming out for the past couple of years. There's a whole bunch of different ones. This is the schoolgirl uniform version of Kino 
Makoto. There's an A version and a B version. The A version is more vibrant. The B version has a more pastel color to her. I have been collecting mostly the Bs in the schoolgirl uniforms, so I don't have the A color yet. So it'll be really, really cool to unbox her and compare her to the pastel version that I do have. Wow, you get a whole cute posket. That's great. Okay, so I'm gonna look up the few items in here that I don't have pricing on so I can tell you how much those cost. So the hand towel retails for about 660 yen. The bath salts, I found them online for, uh, what was it, 1045 yen, around 1000 yen. And these coupon kits retail for about $26 here in the United States. However, they come out of crane games, so it really depends on how much the crane games cost. Crane games are like 500 yen, but it's so much easier to just buy these. So I've been buying these off of Amazon for around $26. Sometimes they go down to like 18 or 19 bucks, but that's very rare. So we are looking at, we're gonna say 800 yen now, just about 800 yen. This item was 16.50. Um, these I believe were around 500 yen. Masking tapes are usually around 500 yen, maybe a little less. This was about 1,000 yen. The notepad, I have no idea how much this notepad costs. Maybe 500 yen. We'll say 500. These are usually about 200 yen each, the gashapons. So we got three of those. We got the sticker sheet, which was 495 yen. The manga, 490 yen. 660 for this and then around $26 for this. So I'll add this on at the end. So that's 7,200 yen, yen to USD, $52. So 52 bucks plus about 26 for a coupon kit. So you're looking at $78. So you're getting about, about 40 bucks of items for free. That's not bad. Now those are all retail values. So sometimes you can find a lot of these items on different websites for a lot less. However, if you are buying from the Sailor Moon store, that's the retail prices for these items. So that's a really good deal. I'm surprised. <laughs> I'm very surprised. I am so used to not being lucky with my lucky bags, but this is a very lucky bag especially because these are items that I'm collecting anyway. These are licensed items from the Sailor Moon store, totally up my alley. These are the things that I have behind me. I have the Otedamas, I have the hand towels, the bath salts I'm using tonight, for sure. Love the stickers, love the gashapons, especially love the coupon kit. That's a great value. So would I recommend getting a Sailor Moon Lucky Bag from Sugoi Mart? Yes, I would. And I'm super excited to be able to recommend a Lucky Bag to y'all. That was really fun to unbox. Now again, don't forget that I have that coupon code and a direct link down below so you can check out everything that Sugoi Mart has available on their website. Thank you so much to Sugoi Mart for partnering with me for this unboxing and for this little mini review of their Lucky Bag. I think that it's a great value and I'm definitely gonna be checking out more of the products on their website. If you enjoyed this, check out some other videos here and here from my YouTube channel. And if you have any questions, leave them down below in the comments. I'm more than happy to help with anything that I might have knowledge about. Until next time, I'm Sailor Snubs. Jenny.